Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video I'm going to be covering some of the questions that I've been asked on one of my videos, the My Time at the Royal Tang Regiment. Now on that video there's quite a few comments about asking like how to join the, the British Army and various questions about the Royal Tank Regiment in general and I've had a few uh, thrown to me about what it's like on exercise and how we live on uh, armoured vehicles, i.e. tanks. Um, me, myself, uh, I work on armoured engineering vehicles uh, and when I was an exercise I didn't have a lot to do so hopefully um, some of these questions are going to be good for you guys. So I've had a few people ask before um, whereabouts you do your washing um, or do you even do your washing when you're out on exercise. Uh, the answer is yes, basically you just wash them in any kind of container that you can find. Usually we use the wash bowls and then you just hang them up wherever you can find as well. At the moment we've set up a clothesline which is just at the back here. As you can see we're drying it all out. The problem is when you do this though, when vehicles go past you get dust and stuff will come out and it tends to make your clothes a little bit more dirty than what they were when you washed them. Another question that I'm usually asked is where do you shower? Now most exercises you generally don't, it depends how long they take, if it's anything up to two weeks then by all means just change your clothes, don't bother showering. But if you do get the chance to shower, what we usually use on the longer exercises like out in Canada, which could be for anything up to a month, we use solar bags, which are these here. Now you just fill them up with water, put them out in the sun, they get nice and warm, you find somewhere to hang them up and you just have a shower as normal and then go from there. Accommodation on an AFE. Now the places where we sleep do differ. Some people decide to sleep on the side of the vehicle underneath a poncho. Some decide to be a little bit further away from the vehicle and some sleep on the back decks. The crews that usually sleep on the back decks are like the Challenger 2s or the bigger vehicles. Uh, what we got here on the Krav is the uh, tank sheet cover there which does stretch the entire length of the vehicle but for the sake of it we usually just pile it down so it's about halfway and then most of us usually sleep on the back decks which is just down here that's so we get the heat from the engine to keep us warm at night time I don't know how well it's going to look in here but if we squeeze in uh, uh, this is usually where I sleep, which is just above the rocket cover, so I get all the heat from the engine. Uh, if you have any more crew members on this vehicle, then usually they sleep down just there on the left hand side of the spine and underneath the crane just at the back there. Next question is where do you go to the toilet? Now, if you need a pee, then obviously you jump out the vehicle and go whatever bush you're next to. Uh, if you need a number two, then that's a little bit more difficult. There are toilets inside the vehicles, but they're only there for um, chemical environments where you have to stay hatched down. So because you don't really want to be taking a dump next to one of your friends, that's not the best thing to do. So what most people usually do, if you're on an exercise area that doesn't have any kind of port loos or anything, is... The Mark 1 shovel. Basically, go and dig a hole, poop in it, cover it up, job done. So, next question, where do we eat? Now, how people warm up their food is uh, different ways depending on what vehicles you're on. Uh, most British Army vehicles nowadays have something called a BV, which stands for boiling vessel. Uh, if you don't or it doesn't work, then uh, you'll probably use some kind of jet boil or something outside of the vehicle or a gas cook or something along those lines. Um, but we have a BV, which is this item right here. And you literally plug it in, open it up, put water in, put your food inside, and then do it back up again and switch the vehicle on, switch the BV on, which in effect is a giant kettle and then you can cook your food in there and within about oh, anything up to 15 minutes or so uh, you have a nice warm uh, ration pack to eat. So the delights that we've got for this morning's breakfast is going to be, once it's pulled out, 
is pork sausages, beans, in tomato sauce. So next question is how do we shave? Well, we have to shave basically once in every 24 hours. Most people do it in the mornings. So we've boiled our BV down there. So it's all nice and hot. And now we're draining some of the water into one of the basins. Well, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want any other questions asked, by all means, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.